today talking about what you can learn from your cash flow. Right? So while you're sitting around at the house, you can learn tons about ballistics. All right? So for a quick segment today, we're just going to do bore height. A lot of people, I see them, they're measuring, you know, from the firing pin to the center of the scope and they got their, uh, their ruler out or they have some other device and they go through this big, long project to figure out what their bore height is. Learn when you need to be exact. One of the biggest things I say in my class is know what matters and when it matters. All right? Just use every line on your finger, go one inch, guess as close as you can, it's good enough, let it go. If you plug in 2.75 for your bore height, look at 800 meters. All right, write down your hole. Then plug in three and a quarter bore height and look at your hole at 800 meters. You're gonna see a difference of about 0.1. We don't care about 0.1s at 800 meters because you don't have a 0.1 gun, you don't have 0.1 ammo. So this is inside the noise of the weapon system. This is one of those things. So if you're off by a quarter of an inch, obviously it certainly doesn't matter to be 0.05 off because that's a sixth of a minute of angle. And when you true your muzzle velocity, it's gonna correct all that into it and it's gonna account for it. So bore height, being super critical on your bore height as far as knowing exactly how high you are really doesn't matter. Obviously we don't wanna be an inch and a half off, but if you're a quarter of an inch off, half of an inch, it's not that big of a deal. But these are things that you can learn. So ask yourself questions and then answer it with your casserole.